with the problems the Bills have had stopping the running game. Ajayi bouncing it to the outside, getting the first down and much more third and 11. More time throwing sideline, grabbed as he inbounds. He is marked down at the 15 yard line. Nice grab by Kenny Stills and stumbling. Ajayi still fights off a tackler and gets to the end zone. The ball has him in the backfield, not able to bring him down, and Ajayi just with those legs, the strength in his legs to get into the end zone. Down of the afternoon. Boy. Slice it through. From 46 yards out. Pushed it. And it is no good. Kenyon Drake in the backfield. Drake with the handoff. And goes the other way. Lots of running room in that direction. Down the sideline for the touchdown. Play action pass when our running game is working so well. This play is intended to run to the left. Drake recognizes there's nowhere to go. He gets collision in the backfield. Matt Moore gets out, gives him a block. And then Kenny Stills down the field allows him to get into the end zone. Taylor has time going for it all to the end zone. And it is caught. Sammy Watkins, touchdown. No matter how healthy he is, he's a difference maker in the passing game. A year ago, Tyrod Taylor was averaging eight yards per attempt. He secures that ball. There's no, there's no bobble with the football as he goes to the ground. He gets both feet in bounds. Moore on second and ten, going to go for it all. To the end zone, intercepted in the end zone by Corey White. He lays this ball down the middle of the field. Really no chance for his receiver to come up for it. Kenny Stills is the one in the middle of the field. Corey White right in position for the interception. Moore looks left. That's complete. That's a first down and more for Devontae Parker. Down the sideline for the touchdown. Moore is staring down to his left, and then he picks up Parker, who's on a drag route from right to left. He hits him in stride, and what happens again? The Bills, with a missed tackle, allows Parker to get free, and then he strides it out down the sideline. 56 yards. Intermediate throws that Taylor's been able to connect on. Taylor, with time, throwing. That's a seventh straight completion, and out of bounds at the 25-yard line is Sammy Watkins. It ends up running all the way outside to the left, so you have to be disciplined. There's McCoy to the 10, to the 5, touchdown! This play takes off running to the right, it winds back left. We just talked about his vision, his cutback ability. Maybe celebrated a little bit too early as Thomas almost tackled him. Moore throwing outside, complete. That's Damian Williams, and Williams shaking, tacklers him down the middle of the field! Inside the 25-yard line. Moore to the end zone. Touchdown. Kenny Stills with the reception. Taylor on the move. Going to launch it. Has Watkins deep. And he made the catch. When he can run as well as he is today, it gets him on the scoreboard as well. Taylor pulling over the middle and inside the five to the end zone. Touchdown, Charles Clay. Charles Clay, now this is his fifth catch on the day. Tyrod Taylor putting it right in between three defenders there. As the collision happens, Clay spins off and is able to get into the end zone, making this back to a one possession game. On second and five, Moore looks right. Holding on, now throws, and that's Landry. Landry inside the 35. Upright and no good. Missing their field goal left, going in the opposite direction. So that wind is having an impact on the field. Taylor goal. going to keep it. And Felton blocking in front of him, and he's out of bounds, close to midfield. One yards passing, two touchdowns. Taylor again. Taylor with running room and slides down. This is from 28. And it is good. McCoy. Into Miami territory to the 41. Okay. Oh. 80. 80. 
McCoy. Flea flicker. Taylor. Waiting. Throwing. Wide open inside the 20. The 15. The 10. And out of bounds is Robert Wood. Fourth and goal. Taylor throwing. End zone. It is caught by Clay. They've been working this in the second half. Clay is going to come up and he's just going to work to the inside. That's where Taylor is going to, going to, it's man to man coverage with the linebackers dropping underneath. He's able to find that lane. More, and there's Kenny Stills across midfield into the 44. More to the sideline, it is caught. And Damian Williams fighting for yardage when he could have stepped out of bounds. He's Huge looking mistake. for the first down. On its way. And good. Tennessee to lose. And they need a win here to keep their hopes alive. Gillisley to the outside. Gillisley with running room midfield. 40. And out of bounds at about the 30-yard line. On its way and pushed it right. Beam. And they're going to give it to Ajayi. And Ajayi breaking through left side. 40, 50. Can they catch him? Finally bring him down. Mikel Roby Coleman with the tackle. It's good. The Miami Dolphins with their 10th win of this season, and they now look to tomorrow's game in Kansas City, where Denver, if they lose, would put the Dolphins into the postseason. <laughs> Taylor under pressure and going down inside the five. Cameron Wake make it 11 and a half sacks on the season. Well, and that's the Dolphins getting a quick timeout. That's smart with the sack down inside the five. I thought Taylor had a chance to slide up in the pocket, but with that angle, you see Sue in the.